Reptiles and amphibians have always been blowing the human mind with their extraordinary ability to adapt to the world. But what if I told you that they can glow in the dark too, called bioluminescence? So in today's video, I'm going to go over 10 reptiles and amphibians that glow in the dark. And by the end of it, you'll be seeing them in a whole new light. My name's Ryan and you're watching Mighty Morphin Reptiles. Let's roll the tape. Now you're probably wondering yourself, what is bioluminescence? Bioluminescence is when a creature can absorb light and project it in a completely different color. It's actually just the same as when you flash a black light on a scorpion or a jellyfish or on some coral reef or like when a werewolf's under a full moon. Okay, not really a werewolf, but I just want to throw that in. And over the recent years, we've been discovering that reptiles have this ability too. And it first started off with the Hawksbill sea turtle was the first reptile to ever be found with the power of bioluminescence, thanks to Marcus Ray from National Geographic. So in 2015, Marcus was just on an expedition filming coral, and during that expedition, a turtle just all of a sudden swam up in front of him and just lit up like a UFO. And just look at the shell of the turtle right there. It just has that yellow splashing all over it, and the sides are illuminating red, and even the head glows. I couldn't imagine all the endorphins that was going through Marcus's head right then and there. I mean, it's a blessing enough to see the Hawksbill sea turtle already there as they're critically endangered, but to actually see him glow up like that, man, that's like a one in a lifetime experience. Man, I wish my bus turtle would glow up like that. Trust me guys, I've tried, it doesn't work. And then next up, we have chameleons. They have the ability to absorb ultraviolet light to their skeleton structure and project it in a different light. And scientists aren't exactly sure why they do this yet, but with there being over 160 different species of chameleons, they believe that the reason why they actually do this is so they can identify the other different species from each other so they know which one to actually reproduce with. All right guys, now it's nighttime and I can't wait to show you some real footage of the chameleons. All right, guys, this feels like a Florida adventure herping for chameleons at night. Ooh, see, you can already see someone glowing in his cask. What about you down here? You see someone that one? A little bit right there. A little bit on your face, too. All right, here we go. This is some good footage. Now, see, you look in that cask. You can see right where the bones are in the cask and in the nose. You can see it illuminating. Now you can see some of it in the spine. Well, that's just so freaking cool how that works like that. Gosh, I just love the power of bioluminescence how it's showing in one of my favorite lizards ever. Come on guys, you gotta admit, that is pretty freaking rad. And then next up on the list, we have the axolotl. Now, however, axolotls actually don't have the natural ability for bioluminescence. They only glow under a UV light because they were genetically modified with something called green fluorescent protein, which actually came from jellyfishes. It's the exact same concept that they did at glowfishes. And scientists started doing this to animals in 1994. And it was actually first introduced into axolotls during a study of regenerative development. And during this study, they also figured out that the black axolotl doesn't really have this glow due to the deep black pigments in its skin. Then we have the alpine new. Now you'd be lucky enough if you even saw one of these guys out in the wild. However, if you caught a glimpse of them at night, you might just be blessed enough just to see a neon green belly looking up at you. Under the right circumstances, alpine newts can actually glow in the dark, but so can 31 other species of amphibians. Some herpetologists didn't even know that they could glow in the dark until they shine a special light at them. Then they watch the mucus, the bones, the ribs just shine green and orange at them. Did you know alpine newts are actually toxic? They actually leach out these toxics through their skin. I wonder if this toxin is actually what makes them glow. Scientists are actually curious too, as they're gonna be using bioluminescence to actually figure out more about their evolution. Man, you gotta love science. Then we have rattlesnakes. Now, a man named Greg Watson was the person who figured out about the glow in these snakes, as he spends tons of time in the desert. But he also states that you won't really see a glow if you use a cheap UV light. He has to use a special UV light because the purple in the light will actually like really block out the glow into it, so they don't really glow up like scorpions would. Now, there's not really much studies to the glow of the rattlesnake, but theories are that these snakes actually use the glow to attract certain prey. Then we have the pumpkin toad, and now this is one of the 36 species of tiny toadlets that actually are found in Brazil. Now, all these tiny toadlet species look very similar to each other, but it makes it real easy to mistake it for another species. However, in 2016, they actually discovered that this was a complete different species when they were experimenting with bioluminescence on one of these guys 
guys and they just completely noticed it. But did you know the pumpkin toad looks actually highly toxic? It's something called tetrodotoxin. It's just exactly like the alpine newts. It actually can leach through their skin or poison someone through ingestion. You know, it sounds really similar to poison dart frogs with those bright colors like, hey, if you eat me, you're gonna have the worst day of your life. But you know, when I actually look at the photos here, you actually can clearly see someone's actually holding one of these guys. So I believe that they're only toxic due to their diet in the wild, which is just similar to the poison dart frog as they lose their toxicity in captivity. So another fun fact about the species is that they actually have a mating call but now the females can't actually hear the calls anymore. Now you just got a male screaming on the top of his lungs without ever being heard. But herpetologists actually believe that this is something really new with their evolutionary change. Cause like, why would you just still call if you can't be heard? So it has to be something real recent. Now I gotta say, I love how cute and dorky these guys are, especially when they're trying to bark and be tough. Like man, sit your toilet butt down. Now I know they look really cute and all, but do not make pumpkin pie out of these guys. Then there's also certain morphs of ball pythons that actually do this glow. I figured this out when I was watching Brian Barchak or New England Reptile and they were just flashing that light on them. But if you guys actually have more info about this, then please drop it down in the comment section below because I would love to know why. Then we have this cute polka dotted tree frog that comes from South America. Now this was also found on accident. As they were shining a black light onto it, seeing if they could see any like poisonous secretion pop up from under their skin and they were only expecting a little bit of red, but boy were they surprised when they saw this electric blue glowing frog. Man, it's so cool how it transitions from its daytime yellow colors to that illuminating blue. Now imagine at night if you looked up at a tree you just saw a bunch of these tree frogs illuminating. Kind of reminds me of the children's playroom with the glow in the dark stars at night. Man, man, that's a really great idea. Don't steal my product idea, guys. And then we have the Pac-Man frog, but just not any Pac-Man frog. It is the Cranwelly Pac-Man frog. Now this wasn't found on accident with its glow as herpers were just going out with the light just trying to find every amphibian that could glow. But this amphibian just doesn't doesn't glow with any light. It has to be a blue light specifically, and then you'll get the bright green and yellows. So I want to share some fun facts real quick while researching this frog. So scientists actually believe that this frog is an evolution of an ancient frog called Bezel Buffo, AKA the devil frog. So scientists believe that this frog was actually able to eat baby dinosaurs. They found fossils and the fossils of this frog is the same size as a cat. Now the reason why they believe that the horn Pac-Man frog is actually an evolution of the devil frog is, is because when they compare the heads of the two frogs are actually really similar and the jaws are exactly the same in dynamic features. And as they took a closer look at the jaws of the frogs, they realized that the Pac-Man frogs bite force would be exactly the same, but expanded to the ancestors during the two comparisons, which totally makes sense to me as Pac-Man frogs are eating snakes, fish, rats, other mammals the exact same size of its body. So these frogs are pretty beastly. And now it's time for the best of them all. Drum roll please. And this is called the web-footed gecko. Check out the neon yellow around its eyes and on the side of the body. It's so freaking cool. With how bright it illuminates, I kind of think of a rave gecko. Now my buddy Sean has these geckos and these are one of the reptiles that I'm totally jealous of that I don't have that he has. And I just freaking love these guys. They're just so tiny and dweeby looking. And did you know they actually make a little cute squeak sound? Now the web-footed gecko is a nocturnal desert dwelling species that come from Southern Africa and they only get up to four inches long. Huh, looks like you guys have something in common. And the web-footed geckos actually get their name from the web fan foot-like feet they have. And they're actually really good diggers. Like they'll spend most of their time during the day under the sand to hide from predators and then actually come out at night. Now like check them out just digging right there. Like dude, he's like really good at it. And like just look at the way he's digging right there. Like he's just like totally built for this. And just like other geckos, they actually don't have eyelids. And since they dig in the sand all the time, it actually scratches up their eyelids. And how they actually get rid of this is actually fun fact. The eyelids is actually just a scale. So they're actually able to shed the eye cap of it off and then bam, it's just like a brand new eye. And you know what boggles me? Is that the web-footed gecko is actually not a popular species in captivity. There's not really many breeders for them at all. And I think this is a species that really should be brought into the hobby more as like, dude, how can you not deny that this is such a freaking cool reptile? And even when it's not illuminated, just look at it. It's so freaking cool looking. I just love like the peachy colors onto it and its eye looks so cool. I love the striking patterns onto it. It's actually really beautiful under the right texture and light. It's just such a cute little gecko. And that's my list for 10 reptiles 
thousand amphibians that glow in the dark. And if you guys have any other fun facts that I didn't mention in this video or know of any other species that actually glow under the right circumstances, then please drop a comment in the comment section below because I would love to know as I love learning new things. And if you guys also had fun and learned something new today, then do me a favor, boop that like button for me. All right guys, my name's Ryan and you're watching Mighty Morphin Reptiles. <laughs>